Hey guys, Tom Boykin here, and if you are a creative professional working as a picture editor or a sound editor or composer, re-recording mixer, colorist, you're going to probably have to work remotely with some of your clients. If that's the case, there's all kinds of off-the-shelf software that you can pay a monthly fee for and you know stream uh, an edit or a mix or music to clients, and those companies will gladly take your money. But today I'm gonna show you a mostly free way of streaming audio and video to a client anywhere in the world using Zoom and OBS. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Pro Tools today, but it's not gonna matter what software you use. You could use Pro Tools, Avid, Final Cut, GarageBand, Vegas, whatever you want. The basic idea is that we're going to need to send a video feed and an audio feed to our client. And we're also probably gonna want the ability to send us, our faces to them, so that they, there's some kind of human interaction. So how do we do that? Well, in Pro Tools, you, you know, I've got the video window and I've got an audio feed here. The very first thing we need to do is get our audio to go from Pro Tools to a virtual output. So in Pro Tools, I would set that up by going to I.O and using the aux IO to add a, you can use the Pro Tools audio bridge, you can download Black Hole 2 channel, which is free. This is the, Black Hole is the method I suggest using if you're not in Pro Tools, because you can use this to set as a system output, meaning you will be sending all of your system audio to your clients. So if you're working in DaVinci or Final Cut, all you need to do is go to the Apple system settings and then set, let me get rid of this video window real quick. Set your sound output to black hole two channel. Um, but you know, however you, you want to get the audio to a virtual output. It's basically like a make believe digital audio cable that you're plugging into the internet. So you have to get the audio out of Pro Tools. So that's the first thing. You can see here I've got a bus set up to be Pro Tools AB Out 1 and 2, which is routed to the output Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2A1-2. So at this point, the audio is going to play back on my speakers, but it's also gonna play back to my client. And you can see on my stereo mix track here, I have this set up as a pre-fader send. So I can listen to the 5-1 mix, I can listen to the stereo mix, the playback level is not going to matter because this is a pre-fader send. So this send is going to Pro Tools AB out 1 and 2. Make sure you have a video window available. In Premiere or um, DaVinci Resolve Studio and other video editing programs, you can set up a full screen output or an NDI output. So that's the, the second piece of media we need to get out is a video feed. So I've just got a window here. Set that up however you need to in your NLE or DAW to have a video window that you can feed into the next software, which we're gonna be using OBS. So I'm going to move this video to my second screen over here. You guys won't be able to see it. So in OBS, OBS is great for this because you can use the virtual camera. I'm actually gonna stop that. I tested this beforehand. So we're going to need to set up a scene in OBS that has three things. We're going to need a feed from Pro Tools and you can see here I've got the device set up to use my virtual input. It's, it's grabbing the virtual output and using it as an input. So it's grabbing the audio coming out of Pro Tools and injecting it into OBS. So that as a capture source is set up. So to add a capture source you can click the plus or right click and go add audio input capture for that. So check. We've got audio from Pro Tools. I can even show you that. It's going to be this fader right here. Let me hide these other ones real quick. So I'm going to hit play in Pro Tools and you should see audio coming into OBS. So there's our mix. I've already hooked up the video file. I'm going to show you that too. Okay, so the next thing you need to set up is your microphone. OBS has a mic already set up for you. I like to add a separate uh, device for this. Right now I'm using a DJI Mic 2, 
So you can set that, whatever mic you have, it could be from your, your audio interface, it could be from a preamp, it could be your laptop mic, whatever you wanna use for communication, set that up as another source. So you can see I've got Pro Tools, I've got my DJI mic too. So to add a microphone, you just go to Audio Input Capture and then select your uh, audio source. The final thing is we need a video source. So this is gonna get our video feed out of our software to our client. I prefer using the window capture method and Pro Tools is great because you can just capture the Avid video engine, but in DaVinci Resolve, you might have to capture the whole display. You know, if you have the full screen display on a second monitor, you can also use NDI for this with some more work, but I prefer using display or window capture. So the video feed is in there sending to our client. If you didn't want them looking at your ugly mug, you could just leave it at this and say, hey, you're not gonna see me, but you're gonna see the video. I like to do a second, uh, second option with this, which is sending a, um, for this, I think, actually, I'm just gonna use my phone. Hey, there's me. <laughs> so this is set up to use my iPhone as a, um, basically a webcam, but if you have a webcam, use that. You can use a laptop camera. You can use whatever you want for this, but basically set it up to where you have a way for them to see your smiling, beautiful face. Isn't that beautiful? So that's done. So you have a scene here for comms. Hey, I'm talking to my client. Let me talk to you about this. And then you have a scene with just the video full screen so that they can watch that. So OBS is at this point set up. You've got your audio from Pro Tools. You've got your mic for communication, you've got your video feed, and you have a webcam for talkback. At this point, we have both our audio from our microphone and our audio from Pro Tools, as well as a video feed going into OBS. So now, how do we get those things out of OBS to our client, which is in uh, Nairobi for all we know? How we do that is we have to set up one more thing in OBS. So we're gonna use the virtual camera to send the video, but we also need to send the audio out of OBS because OBS, we can mix ourselves. We can add some plugins to our microphone to make ourselves sound better. We can duck our microphone when there's playback. There's a lot of things we can do in OBS uh, as like an audio mixer to send the audio to the client. But we need to send the audio out of OBS. So if you go to settings in OBS and then go to audio, scroll down to monitoring device and change that to a second virtual output. This is why I like the Black Hole 2 channel. The Black Hole virtual output, you can use all audio movers, it doesn't matter. You need to set up a second virtual output. So we've got the virtual output coming out of Pro Tools into OBS. The second one is to take it out of OBS into Zoom. So I've got that set up to Black Hole 2 channel and then click OK. You also need to make sure you are monitoring your audio sources. So you can see here I've got DJI Mic 2 monitor and output, and I've got Pro Tools monitor and output. That way, the audio plays back through this virtual feed that I'm setting up. So now I'm gonna click Start Virtual Camera. I'm gonna go into Zoom. I'm gonna go into Settings in Zoom and I'm gonna to go to video. Make sure the camera is set up to OBS virtual camera. Original ratio and HD checked on. Next, go to audio. For microphone, set this to the same virtual output you have set in OBS. In this case, for me, it's black hole two channel. You can see I've got a nice level for my microphone there. If I push play in Pro Tools, it will also send uh, audio here, but be advised, this input level is voice only. It's really weird how they did this. So if you play back sound effects and music, it's not gonna show on your level even though it's receiving it. So just use this as kind of a dummy check like, yeah, I'm getting audio from my microphone. You need to change a couple settings in Zoom for this to play a high quality audio feedback for your client. So turn off Zoom background noise removal, uh, turn off personalized audio isolation, turn on original sound for musicians, turn on high fidelity music mode, turn off echo cancellation, and turn on stereo audio. So live performance audio I haven't really messed with too much, 
but since I'm streaming from my computer to a client, I just leave that checked off. So again, settings are everything off except for original sound for musicians, high fidelity music mode, and stereo audio. That's gonna get you the highest quality sound to your client. So at that point, you think everything is set up. So we're gonna go start a new meeting and custom combination, that's what we want. We want black hole two channel for the microphone. We want to probably use our main audio interface as our speaker to play back our client, their voice. And then uh, everything else looks like it's set up good on the audio side. Then for the video, do OBS virtual camera. Click start. Mine always goes full screen, so I'm gonna get back out of here because there's one more thing we have to check. And this happens with every Zoom meeting. You have to turn original sound for musicians on. Okay, so noise suppression is disabled. I don't know why it's set up like that. I've told it I don't want that, but it does it anyways. So there's probably a setting I need to mess with. So now if I push play on Pro Tools, we're gonna go to Zoom. And I can see that when um, there's, you know, dialogue and music and sound effects playing in my Pro Tools session, I can hear, I can see that there's level. If you want to check this, which I highly recommend, click more and record to this computer so you can record a little test clip and make sure it sounds good. Recording in progress. Recording in progress. And then I'll hit stop. Recording stopped. Nice. And then I'm going to end the meeting. And then it's going to encode the, the thing. And then you can check it. Let me make sure I have Pro Tools stopped here. Let me just check this real quick. You guys are just going to hear it coming through the mic. It's not going to sound very good. Yeah, you can hear me chattering over the top too. But yeah, so that recorded. The video is not that great. You know, it's, it's good enough to, you know, check, make sure the sync is pretty close. Uh, and the, the audio is pretty good. So for me, that would be good enough to do a remote review with the client. Assuming they weren't super picky about hard sync and uh, you know uh, absolute video and audio quality. For being cheap or free, you know, really the only thing I have to buy for this is maybe a Zoom uh, subscription, unless I'm gonna do sessions less than 45 minutes and then I can use the free one. I'll need that and I'll need Pro Tools, you know, which I'm already paying for. So this doesn't require any other subscriptions like to Everclear or um, not Everclear, <laughs> Evercast or Clearview or Mixstage or Looper or any of those other, you know, subscription-based things. This just uses stuff I'm pretty much already paying for. So for me, this is a really nice, low-cost, simple, accessible way to share a sound mix or a video edit. Like if I was working on a video edit and I wanted to share, um, you know, my edit in progress with the director, I would totally use it for that. Assuming they weren't local and that they weren't super concerned about like, you know, compression artifacts on the video and maybe a little bit of wobbly sync because the audio visual sync is not going to be super tight using this method. But for me, simple, easy. Everybody's used to Zoom. It's a nice, simple way to to get the job done. So uh, hopefully this has helped you guys out. If you have any comments about your own setup for remote collaboration, I'm talking real time, not Frame.io, but like real time, let's work together on this. Drop a comment below. Let me know uh, what you use. And uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, also drop a comment below. I love getting user comments on that kind of stuff. Till the next video, I'll see you then.